Okay, let's talk a little bit about a canopy and rail issue. This is with the canopy off the aircraft. We have it off because we had to replace the canopy seal, but here's the rail. Now we're going to clean the tracks and we're going to clean the rail. But one thing we notice that when we move it, notice we don't hear anything. It's just a nice slide smooth. Well, that's not how it's actually supposed to be. Stand by while I put in the other rail with the proper hardware and you'll see what it's supposed to do. Okay, so we've put the other rail in with all the new hardware and now watch when I push the rail forward. You hear that boop boop? That's because there are two little bumps built right in the, into each side of our canopy track assembly. <clears throat> and when you pull the rail out, I'm going to lay these side by side so you'll be able to see them. These are the little canopy buttons. And that little tip tip you heard was that running by the buttons. This one button is completely worn down and the springs are shot. Now the reason they did that was not so that you'd be able to hear it in flight was so that you could feel it in flight. So when you open past this first bump, you feel the first one. This is the canopy open limit uh, for whatever the airspeed is. So you can actually feel it in the canopy when you're opening. If you're on the ground and you don't have any power running, you'll actually hear it. But in flight, it was a visual bump in the canopy that you could feel to let you know you're at the canopy open limit. So that's a canopy issue. So why we have this uh, canopy off, we're going to clean the tracks. We're going to clean the rails, and since they're worn on one side and not the other, we're going to swap the rails side to side so that we get even wear on the other side. Uh, these canopy rails, by the way, are no longer available right now, so it's a very critical part because if it wears too much, your canopy won't stay on the aircraft. So take good care of your aircraft, take them off, keep them clean. Um, this has been lubed way too much, so we're going to be cleaning it with alcohol and Q-tips replacing the hardware, cleaning the rails, and then it'll all go back together with the canopy on it tomorrow. But that's an issue. So here is the canopy button. Uh, there's just a little nylon button. Doesn't look like much. It goes on with two spring washers, the washers facing downward. And when you have the canopy rail off, you have a screw hole with a Klein nut, a spline nut, another spline nut, and then the, and then the Teflon washer drops right with the washers and the Teflon button drops right in there and that's what makes the boom sound when your canopy opens. If you open your canopy and you don't hear that, these are worn and they should be replaced. Alright ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to talk about cleaning your canopy rails and your tracks. Now these are off an AG5B. They're only, this particular rail is only 23, 20, well, let's take it back, it's a 91, so it's only 26 years old. Usually they come in, they're completely gray, they don't look anything like this. The gray is from aluminum fretting. This is your aluminum wearing. One side's much more worn than the other because one side dragged on the, on the other side road in the top of the groove. So we're going to be swapping them side to side, but we're going to clean them. We've already cleaned one. Now let's do the other one. We've taken the canopy buttons out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a good broad cleaning. I'm using lacquer thinner because it just cuts through a lot of the debris that's in here. A lot of it will transfer to my hands. And believe me, you can spend, I've had customers who with canopies that have not been off their airplane in quite a few number of years, like 30, 35 years, that you can actually spend an hour in the parts washer with um, uh, mineral spirits and scrub brushes um, and toothbrushes to get all of this clean again. Now I've got the bulk of it off. Now we're going to go ahead and take a Q-tip. We'll be using a lot of Q-tips tonight, especially when we get to the tracks. And you just run through the track with the Q-tip in these corners, clearing out the last of the debris. And as you can see, look at all the debris that I pulled out. And that's after cleaning. So now we're just going to wipe this side, halfway one, turn the Q-tip over, and run it all the way out the other side. And then finally, take another rag with just a little bit of this because I've got debris all over my hands. And now we're just going to finish wiping down this rail. And now that takes care of the rail cleaning. I'll just let them dry. Won't take long with lacquer thinner. Now you do not use lacquer thinner to clean uh, the canopy tracks themselves. We're going to be using alcohol for that. It will not harm the Teflon. So we'll be back just in a minute and show you Okay, now we're going to actually start the cleaning. I've taken some alcohol, put it in a small bottle. I dip a Q-tip in one way. I start about halfway. 
and I pull it forward and even though these are pretty clean there's a lot of graphite dust in here and what we do is we just keep running these q-tips through the top and the bottom until they come out clean try not to put any smudges on a fairly nice airplane and you'll go through a lot of q-tips but um, we actually recommend that you actually clean your canopy track rollers with the canopy full open just put a q-tip through it like every once a week when you're flying and you'll never have a problem with your canopy tracks being dirty. Now that's this half again this one's in fairly good shape I've actually seen it take 25 to 30 q-tips on each side just to get it clean. To get the idea now I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning these but that's how you maintain your canopy and your rail. You want nice smooth operation and then don't flood it with lubricant. Ken and I recommend you just put a drop of silicone in two spots with the new rails and exercise them back and forth to distribute the silicone and then put the canopy on and you'll have fingertip movement of your canopy both open and closed. And as you can see here's your canopy track. You won't get all the gray out but it will get back to almost white uh, which is what you want. You'll never get it back all the way. So anyway this is what a clean canopy rail looks like. You can see a little dark gray area up there in the front but for the most part it's all nice and clean. The rails are clean. The buttons are in. You can hear the boom boom. So we're ready to put the canopy back on this and we'll wait till we have a second person. Canopies do not like to be dented. Uh, thanks for watching our Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. Directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association. Your GPA. Have a fun day flying.